because we're not going to get it done. Put that there. All right. So we're talking about... Yeah. What were we talking about? Yeah. We were talking about we time. That's right. <laughs> is it on yet? Is yeah. It oh, it is? Yep. It was on while we were Hi, arranging the table. Yeah. Oh, I just good. went ahead and turned it on. We have our dishes on the table, but we've already eaten, so you can't see what that's all about. <laughs> but delicious strawberries right in front of us. Delicious strawberries, and we collect. We collaborated on a recipe for sweet potato. That's right, Moroccan sweet potatoes. I was going to make mashed sweet potatoes, and Angie said, I found a sweet potato recipe, a salad, Moroccan. In, in Alice Waters' cookbook. In Alice Waters' cookbook, The Art of Simple Food, mm -hmm. because Alice Waters is simple. Well, Alice Eve. Waters is like the queen, She's right, the queen. of awesomeness yeah. and right. food. Um, and if if you don't know this, Alice Walk Wa Waters is <gasps> the queen and the start, really, of like farm to table. I mean, yeah. she was really part of. She like started right. that movement in the seventies. Yeah, right. or like and, the, yeah, yeah, and, and the edible schoolyard. She came to Greens for about three or five years ago. She right? did. And uh, did groundbreaking at the Greensboro Edible Schoolyard at the Children's Museum. That's right. And I have and we that. were there. That's where I got that book. That's where I got that book. And I saw you there. Yeah. Yeah. And she started the first edible schoolyard, I mean, that we know about. I mean, there are other mm -hmm. probably, you know, schools that have gardens. But in her, she lived in, she lives in Berkeley. Mm -hmm. And her Chez Panisse, mm -hmm. her restaurant, um... She would drive by the school, going to work every day, and she saw this part of the playground, um, or like near the playground, right. that where you know nothing was growing. It was like weeds, and she said, you know, they should have a garden here. Mm -hmm. And so she started the edible mm -hmm. schoolyard in that like high school yeah, or right. yeah. middle school or something like that. Wow, mm -hmm. that's amazing. Yeah, probably every school, even churches, I see gardens in churchyards in Greensboro. Mm -hmm. Have you seen that? Yeah. 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 On Market Street. I don't know what the church is called. But yeah. It's amazing. On Market Street near yeah. Holden Road. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yep. And one's right downtown. So the, our, so the, so the sweet potato salad. So delicious. I had baked those sweet potatoes and they were, uh, they I would have had that, to. Yeah, they weren't that mushy. No, they weren't that mushy. I would have had to like cook them a little bit more right. to make mashed. That's right. So Angie read off the. Spices. Mm -hmm. We didn't have yeah. fresh ginger. We didn't have fresh ginger. I used dried ginger. But we picked uh, tomatoes. I was looking for the bowl. We picked the tomatoes out of the yard. That's the little right. sun golds that are still happening yep. on October the 21st. Yep, yep. excuse really me. Really amazing. She'll show you. They were very tasty. Here's one. There's one. Do you see? <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, we just picked those from the little garden, my That's garden right. outside. Mm -hmm. So I put some of those in there, and the dressing was so it was the sweet potatoes, and I put a little, I chopped up some onion very fine, some red onion, and some celery. Oh, yeah, and some celery, very fine. That was because delicious. I love a little crunch, and it, we put and olive vinegar. oil, lime, lemon, lime, and I freshly ground. Mm -hmm. The cumin and some coriander. Yes. Yeah, and I put a little bit of cardamom in there okay. and ground that in the morning. Was there something pestle. green? Did you, like, did you have parsley? Cilantro. Cilantro. Lime juice. Salt and pepper. Yum. I feel wiggly. I think next time we're going to put cushions in our chair so I don't wiggle around. Because <laughs> <laughs> I want to keep moving. Do you need a cushion? No, don't. Do you need a no, blanket? Okay. No, maybe next time. But I have socks on. That's very helpful. <laughs> <laughs> Underneath the table. You can't see. They're Jen's hiking socks that I borrowed. So my feet are nice and toasty. Yeah. So what were we talking about before we turned the camera on? We were talking about meta, meta meditation. meditation and qualia. We were talking about qualia. And that's not something you would find in the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
<laughs> well, you might. You will find it. Well, you might <laughs> find it everywhere because well, it's part of the universe. Well, qualia actually is a is experience. It's a human experience, and it is in. We have these experiences, in in the form of mental pictures, images. Thoughts like words, you know, have you th- thought about something? Whoop! <laughs> <laughs> Did the camera catch that? Um, that was pretty amazing. I don't know. And physical sensations in our body, emotions, and emotions, qualities of, 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 of experience. So it's subjective. So we might say, we might have one, um, you know, we m- I might say something to Angie, and I, this is one of the when we were talking about Deepak Chopra it talks about qualia and these qualities of human experience and um, and uh, so he has a list in this program that I'm taking and the and in the Rig Veda this is one of the things it says in the Rig Veda this comes from the Rig Veda that imagine that you are a crystal bead and you can reflect the light that's all around you you're a crystal bead and you're reflecting the light all around you and then how do you feel and or what comes up or what do you see in your mind or do you have a physical sensation in your body do you have an emotion that is a you know that comes up with, with that and we all have different you know well, uh, different, you know, experiences yeah. with that. Like you might see something. I don't know. Did right. you see something, or did, what was what came up? Did you imagine it? When? Imagine, imagine oh. you are a crystal bead. Ooh. Oh, I wasn't and doing it. I was watching you do it. Reflect. Yeah. The light. Well, today I did it. Where we, so we were talking about. I was doing it with some of my students in some of my classes this week just saying some of those phrases and telling them about mm-hmm. qualia and just what rise, what bubbles up. It's nothing's right or mm-hmm. wrong or, you know, whatever. What do you feel? What do you think? Words that come into your head, pictures. And I said one at the end of class today when they were in Shavasana, and I said, you know, uh, imagine, because I'm always making a joke, it's sort of a joke, but it's really true, like I really wish this happened, at the club at Green Valley, which is where I was teaching, Green Valley, yay, you should come, um, that I wish on days like today that are so beautiful that we could roll back the roof, roof mm-hmm. or that we had some little steps so we could walk up there and do our yoga class on, on the roof, and having a garden up there would be also really nice. So nice. Alice would have Prove. Alice would approve the garden at the gym. The gym garden. That's right. You don't go grow gym socks. The gym, the yoga grow. garden. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, um, yoga. but then at the end, I said, well, yeah. to you know, imagine that we actually can, you know, um, sort of roll the ceiling here back. Mm-hmm. And that you feel, you can see the sky, the beautiful blue sky, very few clouds, and that the sun is shining brightly down on you, you know. And then what do you, what you know? The, that's the qualia, you know. What are your experiences as I, as you imagine that, or as I say that? And then I said, you know, and then imagine that that light of the sun is like. You feel the, you feel it, but that every cell in your entire body, every single cell, is exuding that light or is full of sunlight like that, like the sun. And even saying it now, I get like chills. You know, it's like goosebumps. Like imagine that yeah. every cell in your entire body is like Thriving. filled with sunlight, is shining out light like that sunlight. For me, the way I feel is like I literally, that's the sensation. Mm-hmm. I get goosebumps and, and just feel like kind of um, overwhelmed, you know, like, whoa. That's amazing. Dissolved. Like you very are bright. now, yeah, very bright. And if everybody's cells and everybody's body are five million billion cells are shining like that, we're all the same light. We're all 
all the same sensation in that way. Expression. Maybe expression is the better word. Right, expression yeah. of consciousness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Connection. Yep. Yep. Like S orange, like sweet potatoes. Oh, so, yeah, the sweet potatoes. Do we have dessert? Yes. What is it? Because we We're, didn't talk about it yet. We have chocolate salami. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's that? really good. Oh, it is? Yeah. I was not so keen on the word salami, but let's look at that. Look. What? It's a fat... Oh. Wow. See? Is this like artisan See, it's salami? paper. It's just wrapped in a yeah. thing like... <laughs> oh, my God. Do you have to have like a cutting board, like charcuterie? Um... Well, I, when I, when Dude, I got sweet. it the other night, I went like this. It, oh my God, you bit it. Yeah, I can imagine. But okay, I thought I would cut it into um, Salami discs. Rounds. Yeah. And I think, oh, figs, dates, and almonds. Figs, dates, and almonds, almonds in this chocolate, great. right? Yes. So, Do you have yeah. a cutting, we need a cutting board too. Mm -hmm. And while Jen is getting the... Things for the chocolate. I'll introduce you to our friend. This is called, he is called Mr. Melon Head. <laughs> Only because, I think that's what he whispered to me. <laughs> Only because he's green and red like a melon. So I love this. But it, it's Wee Time. It's, it's just the, the name of this show is called Wee Time, just so you know. So we are all together with Mr. Melon. <laughs> <laughs> and he's here with us, enjoying the show, and uh, maybe we can get him to answer a question very soon, but we don't even have a question yet. Well, what does his sticker say? Augusta made that. I love it. She did. Augusta's my daughter. Sticker. Hi, oh, it's a, from the T. I need my glasses, but I don't want to put them on for the show. It says, your Our thoughts, thoughts are, are forming, forming the, the world. world. That's exactly right. That's exactly what, that's, that's what we were just talking, we were about. talking about. Your <laughs> thoughts. The light shines out. Come back, sun gold. So anyway, Creative. Mr. Mellon. And it looks it's like, it sort of looks color. like salami. I don't know, can you see? Like yeah, how it I see that like. almond chunk there. I like this kind of salami better. Yeah, me too. The meat kind. Yeah, the salami with the meat has the little white gristle specks. <laughs> Flavor the, specks. The other thing, where did this come from, salami? It I came from white, the white in the wood, white and wood. Sylvester bought it. My friend Sylvester, I think I already said that. Hi, no. Sylvester. Hi, Sylvester. He did not. Um, I, what's white? We went woods? white. We went to White and Wood, which is a new restaurant. <clears throat> In downtown Greensboro, Where and it's fabuloso. It? It's um, next to sounds so. What's his name? Um, this place, Blue Denim, which is also Denim. awesome. Yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Um, it's where Finn Castles used to be, mm. and it is. Um, yeah, really nice. It's really mm. good. And they have provisions, which are like all different kinds of chocolate, mm. wine. For your picnic. For your I picnic, know, you know, like, cheeses you yeah. can buy. Mm -hmm. Yes, for your your picnic française. Mm -hmm. Or français. Le picnic, la picnic. Le picnic. Français. Français. Oui, oui. Oui, oui. <laughs> mm. It's good, though. Mm -hmm. And it's good for you. Mmm, this chocolate With antioxidant. Mm-hmm, and dates mm -hmm. and almonds. Mm -hmm. Dates are really good for you. I love it. Oh my God, I eat dates every day. They're one of the best, mm. most nutritious foods. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We're chewing now. I think Alice Waters would approve this too. I think she would. She probably makes some. Yeah. Her pastry chef does. Mm-hmm. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> Next episode, we're going to talk about how to make natural good and plenty from things <laughs> <laughs> from your things that grow in your garden as weeds, as natural as like growing up in October because we had that experience today, didn't we? That fennel is weed. Yeah. Just 
If just know <laughs> that if, if you, you grow, grow fennel, fennel bulb fennel, bulb fennel is probably seeds. what you're thinking of. Actually, right. when people like that's what I thought of when I bought fennel. There's bulb fennel and there's like seed fennel. Right. Bulb fennel is the kind that you get like in the restaurant. It's delicious. Like it's you can slice beef. it. You can braise it. You can put it on salads. Mm-hmm. Delicious. But the other kind is a weed, and it will spread all over your garden. like Because it seeds and seeds itself. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, but then you get the seeds, which yeah. is great. Which is great. But we did it today. We did today. And put it with some stevia that is also growing in the garden. Right. A stevia leaf. A, a few, few dried fennel. Mm-hmm. Dried, dried fennel, fennel seeds. seeds. Pop them in, eat them together. All of a sudden, I was taken back to like Halloween and when I was like eight years old or something, eating good and plenty. Those really nasty, I'm sure they still make them, licorice capsule. Oh, I'm sure they do. And they're capsule gross. Capsule shaped pink and white mm-hmm. in a little box. I love licorice. And so, anyway, we. We were out there, I was just eating all the little seeds and snacks and weeds from the garden, and just that combination came together. Yeah. It's like good and plenty. I think I like, yeah, I like fennel, but I think back then I I thought those were gross. The good and plenty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's weird. I mean, it's like black licorice. My family does not do black licorice. Like jelly beans, it's all that's left in the, but I love them, so (laughs) eat the little black jelly beans. (laughs) That was so delicious. It's coming up on Halloween. What are you doing for Halloween? Or better, the next day, all the Day of the Dead. I was going to say All Saints Day. All Saints Day. Day of the mm-hmm. Dead. Is that? Oh, no. Um, Halloween. I think that's a Tuesday. Mm. I don't know, but I went to like make a mask for the like Elsewhere... This? Mm, no, like, oh, like a masquerade mask. Like a masquerade mask. Mm-hmm. Not like this one. I don't think I could wear that one. <laughs> Although I can see through it. I thought that was like a tribal thing. Your daughter's so ingenious. When did she make it? When she was five, mm, six, seven, eight. When she was probably eight, nine, ten, something like that. I think it's awesome. I love it. Now back to the salami. There's a little salt happening. Mm-hmm. Is that true? Like, is it on the outside? It's delicious. Yeah, maybe it's on the outside. Mm. It's so good. Let's go get another one. We run out of this one. Yeah, they have, they have like, three different flavors. Dude, it's called Dude Sweet. That's the name of the brand. <laughs> I love it. Dude Sweet Chocolate. That's what it's called. FDA chocolate salami figs. Yeah, what is FDA? Date. Oh, FDA. Huh. Mm-hmm. Fig states and I almonds. I thought they were tricking us. Mm. Talking about the FDA. Seventy-one percent South American chocolate. Mmm. Mar- mm. Oh, also. marzipan. Mmm. Oh, that's part of the almond yeah. flavor we're getting. Dates, figs, and cocoa nibs. Doesn't say mm. salt. Cocoa, cocoa nibs. nibs. We're in trouble. Mm-hmm. What will be up all night? Yeah. Caffeine. Mm-hmm. Yes, I like that. Nice Dude, touch. sweet. Dallas, Texas. Do you think, I think next time we have to choose. Go get some. Wait, wait. Our on air show. Gray is my favorite color. I know it doesn't do favors to me sometimes. But this mm. is gym sweater I put on because I have her socks on. I put the sweater on because it was cold. After hiking, I have a new, new, new crop jacket. Mm, that's nice. With the wide sleeves, the bell sleeves. You can order one. Ding dong, ding dong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's been our first episode of <laughs> Wee Time. Wee Time. 20 minutes, that's long enough. I hope you've enjoyed it. Namaste. Qualia. Bon appetit. Buen provecho. <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> we're we're going to make another one before Halloween, yeah, right? Yeah, that's right. Wednesday, perhaps. Okay. Good night.